Hello guys, I'm starting a series of tutorials that will go step by step to eventually run a simulation of flow through a rocket nozzle using CFD methods through open foam. Here is one of the simulations I've run in the past. This will be great for beginners who are completely new to open foam and wish to learn how to run these basic simulations. So if you are a complete beginner to this topic and wish to run open foam simulations for stuff like science fair projects, these tutorials will lend a guiding hand through your journey. In this first video, we will be focusing mainly on constructing our 2D geometry. We will be using Onshape as our CAD software because it is easy to use, online, and free. Let us start by creating a sketch. Now let us say that we want to create a bell nozzle. Our method will be as follows. We first will make a 2D sketch of half of it, and then we will use the mirror tool to reflect that across an axis, and therefore we will have our complete nozzle. So let us start by creating a construction line. Now we will create the input, and let us set the radius to be 10 centimeters. And since I'm using SI units in this software, I will be using 0.1 instead of 10, since it's in meters. And I can use dimension tool to get it to 10 centimeters. Now for the throat, let's say I want a five centimeter radius. Do the same process. And let's say that we want our throat and input to be set at 15 centimeters apart. We'll use the dimension tool, select these two endpoints. And enter our dimension. Now we need to create our, in our output. We will set the output to 15 centimeters. and we will set it 30 centimeters away from the throat. So now we have these three points and we need to make it into a curvature. And this needs to be the shape of a convergent divergent nozzle or CD nozzle. So let us use a spline. So now we have our 2D sketch of half of the nozzle. Now we need to create a region where the plume will extend. So we just need to create essentially half of the box that extends backwards. So now let's add dimensions. You want the box to be four meters long and two meters tall. And since we're sketching half of it, we need to just set this as one. And now we notice here that this line for the throat and this line for the output don't necessarily need to be there since we're simulating flow through this region. So this is not going to be some wall. So we could just delete that right now. Now we can use the mirror tool. We'll select this as our axis of. We'll select this as our axis. We'll select this as our mirror axis. Now select the entities we want to mirror. As you can see, we now have a closed sketch, and this closed geometry will serve as what we will eventually turn into a mesh in our future videos. We can save this sketch and again we can see that it's closed. We can select this surface and now we want to export this as a drawing. 
So I will call this Dell tutorial. And we're exporting as a DXF file. And now we will open up SolidWorks so that we may create a planar surface out of this. Because remember, we want to be simulating a 2D geometry. Okay, guys, now here we are in SolidWorks. Let us import our sketch file. Press open. You can clearly see we have our DXF file. And now since we want to essentially turn this into a planar surface, we're going to import this as a 2D sketch. And yes, this looks exactly like the thing that we made previously. So now we go again here, go to insert and you'll see surface. And now we select planar. Now it is asking for a bounding entities. And we just select this. And you can see that our planar surface has been created. So we check this tick. And that's pretty much it. And so now we can just export this by saving it. Let's just call this again Dell tutorial. And we need to save this as a parasolid. So let's select that. And now we are done with this first step of this project. So in the next video, we will be using ANSYS in order to create a structured mesh out of this. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.